CBD for your cats, for your dogs. Five new studied health benefits, why you should consider using this. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Click there to subscribe. Hit the bell to sign up for notifications. I encourage you to sign up for my brand new webinar on CBD for dogs and cats. You can click the link in the box below to sign up. CBD cannabidiol, it's the non-psychoactive portion of the cannabis plant. It's got a bunch of specific health benefits. In particular, it's being used for many, many dog and cat parents for pets that have arthritis. How does it work? Well, it turns out that you, our dogs, our cats, mammals, we have this thing called an ECS or an endocannabinoid system. So what that means is our bodies, our dogs, our cats' bodies, they actually produce a type of cannabinoid and that moves throughout the body, attaching to the CB1, CB2 receptors, such as in the brain providing pain relief. Meaning our dog's brains, they actually produce cannabinoids. Another way that you can give cannabinoids to your dog, to your cat, it's via supplements such as this, cannabidiol or CBD. So what are these five new benefits of CBD cannabidiol for our dogs and cats? Well, let's start with number one. Allergies in our dogs, itchiness, scratchiness, excessive paw licking. There's been a couple different studies, one in the US, one in Australia. In the US study, they followed dogs for over an eight week period and dogs that were taking CBD cannabidiol in this one study, over 54% showed a decrease in some of the allergic signs, you know, less itching, less scratching, decreased redness, less skin lesions. Bone healing. This is a super important one and we really don't have very many conventional and or holistic options you know, to speed up bone healing. Your dog, your cat's had a fracture. You're like, what can you do? One study on rats, they found like CB1, CB2 receptors in the bone. And when these rats were given CBD, cannabidiol, it actually sped the rate of fracture healing. You know, you've got a dog, a cat that's got a bone injury and you're wanting like to do something natural that can help. It's CBD, cannabidiol. <coughs> As an antiviral, and this is huge, there's a specific published paper which shows that CBD cannabidiol, it inhibits SARS-CoV-2 replication, as well as stimulating the host immune response. In other words, people that were on CBD, they were less likely to get COVID. And if those people were infected with COVID, they actually recovered quicker. So I mean, that's huge. You're talking about CBD as an antiviral. Say the poodle is coughing, she's picked up a respiratory virus, something like kennel cough. CBD cannabidiol, it may actually decrease the replication of that virus and actually get her over it quicker. The cat flu is just so, so common in our cats, especially amongst the kittens. I get so many questions about the cat flu. Once again, CBD cannabidiol, it may actually help decrease the likelihood of your cat getting infected with the cat flu virus. And if they are infected, it might actually speed up the rate at which they get over it. Do you have a cat that has problems with urinary tract disease, you know, repeated urinary tract infections, perhaps peeing in different parts of the house that they shouldn't be? Maybe you have a dog that has incontinence. The CBD is currently being studied for idiopathic cystitis. That's what many of our cats get. Also being studied in people who can get a type of incontinence. And what they're finding is in many of these cases, CBD cannabidiol is helpful. The fifth new study benefit, which can be beneficial for our dogs, beneficial for our cats, inflammatory bowel disease. One study, they looked at ulcerative colitis in people, which is somewhat very similar to inflammatory bowel disease. And they're finding CBD, cannabidiol, there's specific CB1, CB2 receptors. And when people are on the cannabidiol, they're actually seeing less gut inflammation. So you have less inflammation, all of a sudden you have all those decreased number of clinical signs. You're not having the diarrhea, the urgency to go to the bathroom, you know, the blood in the stool. Inflammatory bowel disease is really common in our cats. You know, repeated bouts of vomiting, repeated bouts of diarrhea, and honestly, it's super difficult to treat. You know, often the only veterinary option is a corticosteroid. You have a cat that has repeated bouts of vomiting, you're kind of at wit's end, what else can I try?
far as CBD doses, standard dose is about three milligrams per 10 pounds of body weight daily. Little Tula, she's 20 pounds, meaning she get two drops of my CBD supplement. For many of these diseases, AKA the allergies, I suggest you start at a minimum of three milligrams per 10 pounds of body weight twice daily. I personally have been taking CBD chamomile for sleep as well as for inflammation. And it's just got an array of so many new benefits. It's almost like, like why am I not taking it? Little Tula, she's got serious anxiety, especially when it involves this being on the exam table. I give her a couple drops of the CBD and honestly, it does make a difference. She really is calmer when she's up here. If you've yet to try it on your dog, your cat, I encourage you to do so, especially if you've got one of those diseases that we discussed. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets on the health benefits of CBD for our dogs and cats. I encourage you to sign up for my brand new free webinar on CBD for dogs and cats. You can click the link in the box below to sign up.